one of the things that I'm trying to do on this YouTube channel is to get interaction with my community out there. I got the ZTE Z Max Pro guys uh, on Metro PCS. So what I did was I reached out uh, to the community and asked somebody that has the phone for the few days that that has been out and to give me a short video, send it to me about what they think about the Z-Max Pro. So I got my man Chicago that sent me a, a video, a short video about this device, about his pros and cons, and about what he think about the ZTE Z-Max Pro. So we're going to engage a little bit with the community and see what it's all about. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So today I asked my man Chicago to send me a video about the ZTE Z Max Pro, his user experience about the device. Guys, I'm starting this new segment with you guys. Uh, you guys is able to send me videos uh, so I can kind of collaborate with you guys about the user experience about the device that you went out and paid your money for. So, uh, Mr. Chicago, I want to thank you for sending me this video. And let's go on and run some of the footage about his user experience about the ZTE Z Max Pro. Let's go. Um, and I had this device almost three days now, a little over 48 hours, just shy of three days. And I want to give you uh, my views about this device. Um, now, this device is only $99, 99 bucks, and it gets you uh, a pretty good device. Uh, like I said, I had it uh, a little bit over two days now. Uh, now, it's a six inch device, uh, it's sporting a IPS uh, LCD uh, screen, uh, 1080p, which is, is, is fine, works great for me. Uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 3. It comes out the box with Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Uh, it's also sporting a uh, Qualcomm 617 processor with an Adreno 405 GPU. Comes with 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, uh, and you comes actually with a micro SD card slot that you can expand it up to 256 gigabytes. Um, has two gigabytes of RAM. The rear-facing camera is 13 megapixel. Uh, and the front facing camera is uh, 5 megapixel and it's sporting a 3400 milliamp battery. For a $100 device, you're going to have some pros and cons. Uh, to me, the pros greatly outweigh the cons, but uh, I'm going to share with you a few, um, a few cons. Uh, the first one, it will be this rear fi uh, firing speaker. It's very uh, tinny. Uh, and it's hollow sounding and things like that. So it's not the best speaker in the world. Uh, the next thing is the camera. Uh, it's 13 megapixel camera. Uh, in good outdoor lighting, you can pull off some decent photos. You know, if you're just upgrading, uploading pictures to Facebook and Instagram, you're gonna have some, uh, some decent photos for that. But uh, it's not the best camera. Uh, video, mm, it's a hit and miss. Low light, it's pretty much almost a miss but uh uh you know for 99 bucks you can't get everything right uh another part another con that i don't like uh it doesn't have ambient display uh notifications so if you get a notification you have to hit the power button to see what it is see what the notification is and it doesn't have any tap to wait f features at all well, it doesn't support nfc so no android pay no tapping two phones together, sending information. No tapping two phones together or another device together to, uh, to pair it. Um, and it doesn't have any um, on-screen buttons. Uh, it does have capacitive touchscreen buttons, uh, but uh, I would have liked on-screen buttons as well. It's not a big thing, but it doesn't support uh, uh, the five gigahertz Wi-Fi band. But if your router does five gigahertz of Wi-Fi, it, it does the 2.4 uh, band. So the pros, pros about this phone, and it's a lot, it's a lot. It has, like I said, a six inch screen, uh, 1080p. Uh, the display is great. Uh, it's similar to how it feels and how it's curved around the side of the phone. 
It, it reminds me of uh, the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, also the LG K7. It reminds me of that. Now it does have uh, a metal uh, built frame around the device all the way around. And the power button is rigid so you can know the difference between the power button and the volume up and down. It's just a phone that reminds me a lot of the Nexus 6, uh, but it's, it's easy to hold in the hand. I don't have big hands, I have medium sized hands, and I can easily pull down on the notification drawer and see my notifications. Uh, it does have adaptable storage as well because it, it supports a micro uh, SD card, and you can, uh, it does support uh, adaptable storage. Uh, it feels great in the hand. The fingerprint scanner is pretty accurate, it works. Um, well, anywhere between 80 to 90 percent of the time for me, for the most part. Uh, it's not the fastest. It's a little uh, about a full second delay. And it has pretty uh, solid battery life. I'm getting around four and a half to uh, to almost five hours of screen on time with it, and it does have band 12 for you uh, T-Mobile users as well. So, like I said, this is a great device for the price. Uh, gaming is pretty good on here. Uh, I did have the Honor 5X. And I would say uh, gaming was uh, iffy on that, especially when I play games like Grand Theft Auto or something of that type. Uh, but on this device, uh, I can play Grand Theft Auto with no problems. I also play uh, like this game right here, NBA Live, which is which is a, a wonderful uh, game to play. Now this this game is actually on the server, so you have to be connected to internet access to play this game. But it actually works pretty well. I never had any problems. The only problems that I did have is when I'm actually, uh, I have a YouTube rant. So if I'm playing something, some audio version of YouTube in the background or a video in the background and I'm actually playing this game, I do see some lag. Other than that, I do not see any lag at all with this game. So it runs smoothly. As you can see, it's running smoothly. Of course, you can play your Pokemon Go. Like I said, I play Grand Theft Auto. I play Asphalt 8 on this game as well. And, and the performance is good. Uh, it doesn't heat up too much. Uh, ZTE has changed the game with this device. I really think they do. This, I would say this is the best uh, device I've ever used for 100 bucks. So that's my thoughts about this device. You know, pick you up one if you have AT&T, T-Mobile, Simple Mobile, Metro PCS, any GMs, GSM carrier. You can pick up the device, unlock it for under 10 bucks, and you're ready to go. Wow, so that was a lot of information that my man Chicago uh, gave to me today. And uh, I thought this segment about you guys reviewing the device. I want to hear your thoughts about devices that you purchased. And I'm going to have future videos about this. If uh, if I do have a future video, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and follow me, send me an email uh, to easycomputersolutions at uh, gmail.com. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and get further information on how to send me uh, video footage of you reviewing a phone. This is your boy Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. See you guys on the next video. Peace.